This is another bit of ultrasound with Z. This time, does this patient have gallstones? Ultrasounding the gallbladder is tricky. This little sack of bile is variable in size and in orientation. There are a lot of ways of doing this, but I'm going to tell you the best way. Place the probe in line with the ribs under the right costal margin. Probe marker pointed towards the patient's right. If you see liver, you are good. If you see bowel, which looks like a bunch of random shadows, you need to have the patient take a deep breath to slide the liver down towards the probe. Have them hold their breath while you do the same. Fan the probe until you find the anechoic black gallbladder. If you have any doubts, you can put color flow on the structure and confirm that it is not vascular. After you find the gallbladder, slowly rotate the probe to get the gallbladder in long axis. Remember, slow, slow movements, even though you may be holding your breath. You can save an image or two or three of the long axis as you fan through the gallbladder. The most critical spot to be sure to adequately see is the neck of the gallbladder. Single stones will sometimes hide there. Speaking of stones, that is the main question you are answering at the bedside. You are looking for anything irregular and hyperechoic in the gallbladder. Stones generally have shadowing like this. They can be big, small, or tiny, in which case they may be called sludge. If you see this, your job can be done. If the clinical suspicion is high and you see gallstones, you may move on to order a comprehensive radiology performed ultrasound or call your surgeon. On the other hand, if you don't see any gallstones and the patient has normal liver function tests, biliary cause of pain is very unlikely. If you want to look for wall thickening, rotate the probe to get the gallbladder in a transverse, short axis view. The gallbladder wall should be thin as if drawn by a pencil, less than 4 millimeters. If it looks like a thick line that was drawn by a marker, this is abnormal. You might also see pericholecystic fluid, which is always abnormal. Likewise, you can push down hard directly over the gallbladder to see if this is tender to the patient. A couple tricks if you're having difficult time seeing the gallbladder. You can have the patient lie on their left side or have them sit up. Sometimes this brings the gallbladder into view. Thank you.